Hey guys, it's Connie. This week I'm here with the 2020 Mini Countryman, all for JCW. The JCW stands for John Cooper Works, and that means this is the fastest Mini you can buy. It's also the largest Mini you can buy. I'm here at this giant empty parking lot to practice launch control. Have a look at this exterior. I love the contrast black roof on this chilly red. The black roof rails just blend right in and pop. Those chrome accents help break it up. And the black bottom with the black top, it just looks great. I think if it was all red, it would look, um, I don't know, less sharp. Round LED cornering headlamps and the John Cooper Works emblem there again. A nice black grill as part of this chili red and black package. And look at these great big red brake calipers. And again, the JCW on both the caliper and the center of the wheel there. And another badge. The all four and the black uh, side view mirrors look great as well. I love that they added the gloss black at the bottom of the plastic cladding there. So I'm not a huge fan of the plastic cladding on most cars, but it really does suit the Mini. It really does suit the Mini. And of course that sun, the dual sunroof, you can see I've got it open. Looks pretty sharp. Let's take this Mini Countryman JCW for a drive. So the all four stands for all wheel drive. That's what all four means. And the Countryman is um, standard all wheel drive in Canada. I'm not sure about the US. The um, JCW, I already mentioned, stands for John Cooper Works. It means it's the fastest Mini you can buy. It is so much fun to drive. It has 301 horsepower, 330 pound-feet of torque. It sounds amazing. It's got this crazy loud exhaust and um, you can even hear it kick up the volume when you put it into sport mode. And honestly, I've been driving it in sport mode all week. Every single time I get in this Mini, I put it into sport mode. It also has eco mode and mid mode, which is just like normal. But what's cool about putting it in sport mode is you can also customize it to um, adjust or to choose the chassis and the powertrain or just the powertrain. The chassis is already so stiff, you feel like you're in a go-kart. Like it's, it's, it's pretty bumpy, like you can probably tell I'm like, you know, bouncing and it's so stiff that you feel every bump. Um, so you can choose to put it in sport mode and only turn on the sport drivetrain, which is which is a cool, <clears throat> pardon me, setting. Um, so this, the JCW is a four-cylinder twin turbo. Uh, I already told you about the horsepower and torque. It is, and most minis are three-cylinder, so again, this is the most powerful drivetrain you can get in a mini. This Countryman is also the largest in the mini uh, lineup, and... It's got a lot of space. I've had four teenagers in here riding with me. Nobody's complaining. There's quite a bit of cubic uh, feet of storage in the back. I will take you guys around and show you yet. It's also got an automatic lift gate. And let's talk about pricing. So this starts at around 32, just under 32,000 Canadian for a base countryman. This JCW edition with the special interior, the chili red exterior is around 53,500 Canadian. And it sits on the BMW X2 platform. Okay, let's have a look at this interior. I love the round door handles. 
Harman Kardon sound system is amazing. The so this is the Dynamica leather carbon black interior. And this is like a suede and the suede carries all the way through the interior on the seats as well. And I would say this would be quick to get dirty and stained as you can see. There's a couple marks on these seats. Um, it looks good, but I don't know how much, you know, it would stand up to in terms of durability. As you can see, both the driver and passenger have manual um, thigh extenders. Uh, the seats are totally manual. You can see some ambient lighting in here, which I love. I absolutely adore this big round screen. I know the screen itself isn't that big, but this is cool. The um, color changes when you turn up the temperature, hot and cold. It um, is also adjustable by this, this button right here. So I'm going to change the color. There we go. Let's leave it at pink. Uh, well, right, let's show you a couple different. There's red and a whole rainbow of colors. You can adjust your ambient lighting to suit your uh, mood or personality or whatever. The um, climate is quite um, functional. I found these to be quite functional. I can adjust it, turn it all with one knob. Instrument display is clear if not smallish. I found this area quite small. It's not easy to see everything and I couldn't find a place to change this display. There is a head-up display as you can see. This little screen pops down when I turn off the vehicle and then pops back up when you start it. As you can see a nice leather steering wheel. Very comfortable. I love these bigger knobs right here for grip. Um, a very nice hard touch leather with the red stitching. It looks great. It's got the John Cooper Works um, emblem displayed. Uh, of course, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And what is interesting is that the Android or the Apple CarPlay is via Bluetooth. So I have not had that in a car before. The Bluetooth um, Apple CarPlay is um, also in BMW, I'm told love the start stop button it just feels good it feels different than I you know every time I get in the car I'm reaching over here for a start stop button but um, this is really cool and then you've got sport and green drive modes like I mentioned I've been driving in sport almost entirely this entire time and then you do have a USB charger here you've got some controls for infotainment here as well but I've really just been using the touch screen it's very um, uh, responsive and it works really well dual climate control and then you've got a little um, compartment here for wireless charging the iPhone 11 Pro Max which is what I have does not fit in here so anything up underneath the 11 Pro Max and, and below would fit um, just not the Pro Max and then you've got another charger down there and a little storage bin which fits my garage door opener mask and some extra sunglasses. Have a look inside the rear seats. Again with the round door handles. Love that. That's a mini thing. Power windows, more speakers. You've got two USB chargers or ports, I should say. And enough legroom. I mean, it's not huge back here. I love this detail. The seats fold completely flat, so you've got lots of room for um, cargo in the rear. And we've got two cup holders here as well. And again, as you can see, this very nice um, seating surfaces. I just don't know how durable they would be. And then, of course, you've got two latch and another John Cooper Works emblem there. Let's have a look in the trunk. It is an automatic lift gate. There is a button from the front as well. As you can see, the seats are 20, 40, 20 split. There's three tethers for car seats, a little compartment. We've got even more storage under here, which I thought was excellent. 
and then a, a privacy cover. All right, so let's wrap this up. What have we not talked about about this many countrymen? All for JCW. Um, I, I haven't shown you guys the sunroofs yet. So there's two sunroofs in here. This one opens all the way. That one does not, but it's so it gives us such nice brightness in the back. And then they both have manual sunshades, which is great. In terms of fuel economy, it gets 9.3 liters per 100 kilometers reported, and that equals about 25 miles per gallon. Now, I will say I am not getting that because I've been doing mostly short city drives and always in sport mode. So um, I haven't really been paying attention to what my fuel economy has been. I have loved this car. So this car has now made it onto my favorites list and people ask me all the time what is the favorite car I've driven and I have a list because the, you can't just pick one favorite. Cars are just all so different. Um, it's really hard for me to compare like my favorite SUV to my favorite sedan or favorite sports car. This is now on my favorites list. It's just so much fun to drive. You just feel like this immediate get up and go. I took it highway driving today for the first time and there is no issues passing, merging, feeling like you need to get up and go. It is, it is on it. I was speeding um, without even really noticing very quickly. So I had to really watch my speedometer while I was on the highway today. Um, if I were to buy a mini, this would be it because it is because of the space. You can have a family and cargo and be a little higher off the ground. And the four wheel drive is great for um, year round driving, especially here in Canada. So it's just an all around really great fun car with really high quality uh, finishings and materials and engine. I mean, it's it's a BMW platform, so you know you're getting high end. Um, quality stuff. So leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and if you have questions, let me know. Thanks for being here, guys.